babe, who's calling you at this time of the night? I'm not too worried, my love. I already turned off the phone. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> it's no one of importance. I mean, let's just sleep. Your phone. Oh, babe. Come on. It's necessary. Well, yes, it is. I mean, look at you. You look all suspicious. So I want to see who's calling you at this time of the night. Let me see your phone. Babe, why are you worried over trivia issues? It's it's gifts calling, and I, I don't want to. So why is gifts calling you at this late hour? It could be an emergency or something important. So if anything, you should take her call. Except it's not Gift that's calling you. She's the one calling. I just don't want to pick her call. What exactly am I waiting for? Hmm? So last night you smashed your phone just because you didn't want me to see who was calling you. You know, for a second there, I thought that, you know, as your husband, I should have the right to know. Of course. As my husband, you have every right to know things about me, about everything about me. It's just that, you know, I, I just didn't want you to know who the caller was because I felt it wasn't necessary. Okay, great. Well, until you're ready to tell me what you're hiding, just leave me alone. Okay? No, honey, why should I hide anything from you? <laughs> well, for starters, your attitude last night was very suspicious, all right? So, I don't believe any word that is coming out, out of your mouth right now. Babes, please, you just have to believe me on this one. Mm -hmm. Have I ever lied to you? It's just that I do not want you to know who was calling for the benefit of the both of us. That's all. Okay, great. I'll just uh, keep telling yourself that. Honey? Babe? <gasps> Hello, Festus. It's me, Nengi. It's my other line. I want you to file a restraining order against someone. My ex-husband. Hey, guy. I was expecting that your woman shall. Does it mean she's hiding something from you? Oh, she definitely is hiding something and I intend to find out what it is. Um, I didn't mean this the wrong way, Sha. But it doesn't mean she's cheating on you. No, no. Uh, Nengi does not have it in her to cheat on me. And she smashed her phone because her husband wanted to check it out. Look, I see your point, but I still don't think it has anything to do with cheating. All right, we've been married for a year now, and she has not shown me any sign of infidelity. If you trust her that much, then why are you concerned about the caller? You don't get the point. Look, I am not disputing the fact that she's hiding something, all right? I just don't think it has anything to do with another man. She's probably involved in some business or deal that she doesn't want me to know about. And she smashed the phone. Huh? Like I said, I will get to the bottom of it. If you say so. Okay, it's all right. It's your home. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning ma. ma. How are you? Good morning, ma. Have Fine, you done thank you, in the morning? Have you done your daily routine? Sure. Okay. 
Ma, your friend has been waiting for you. My friend? Yes, ma. Give to me? Yes, ma. Okay. You look beautiful, ma. Thank you. Thank goodness. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, sorry, I kept you waiting. I didn't know you were here. So what happened to your phone? Called the whole time and it was switched oh, off. Oh, that, it was bad. So I had to stop over at the repairer's place to have it fixed. You should have called the other line. You have my two numbers. It wasn't available either. Oh, mm, that must be network anyways. Sorry. So what happened to your phone? You don't want to know. I smashed it. What? You smashed it? Yes, I did. Why? Des called me last night. What? He's out of prison? <laughs> Obviously. I thought you should have blocked his numbers by now. But I did, babes. The very day he signed that divorce papers was the same day I blocked him. But apparently he, he, he called me with another number. So what, what does he want? Did I even wait to hear what he wanted to say? Immediately I heard his name, I hung up. I mean, I don't want anyone to ruin my marriage and not even him. Please. So why did you smash your phone? My husband wanted to know who the caller was. So that was the only way I could save myself. I had to destroy the phone. Babe, Yeah. You are very lucky. Hmm. What if he had found out about Kes? Don't even think about that. No, I don't even pray for that to happen. Honestly, what bothers me now is how to pacify my husband. He's really mad at me. Wow. I think this is the right time you just tell him everything. Tell him what, Gift? Have you gone crazy? But I just thought... No, don't even think anything. Listen, Gift, I have a beautiful marriage. A very sweet one at that. And I don't even want to ruin it for anything. Anyways, I already filed a restraining order against him at the court of law. Okay, oh, if you say so. Well, I'm here to pick up the head bundles and your stylist said she couldn't find them. Yes, I kept them differently for you. I'll get it. Okay. I'm coming. Hi, honey. You're welcome, sweetheart. How's your day? What is all this? Um, yeah, for you. Just, um... So you think that this is going to work? And flowers and, um, petals, candles, as opposed to the truth? I'm sorry, okay? I'll tell you the truth, please. Can you please sit? Thank you. Look, all I want is the truth, that's all. The truth? I shall tell. Babe, it, it's it's one random guy who has been on my, my neck. He's been disturbing me, sending me text messages and calls, steady calls. I don't even know where he got my number from. So what does this guy want? What else? I mean, he, he was asking me out and I told him I was married and he wouldn't hear. He kept calling even at night. He called me with one number. I, I heard his voice. I, I blocked him and then he called with another. I didn't just want you to hear it. That was just, that was what happened. Nothing else. Are you sure this is not some cooked up lie? No, baby. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. So what exactly was so difficult in you telling me that, that you chose to destroy your phone? I know you to be a very jealous person, you know. I do not want you to get pissed that I was probably talking to a man. Well, I am still pissed that you destroyed your phone over something so trivial. My bad, my wrong. It will never happen again, please. Forgive me. Listen, Nengi, I, I know that you are a very beautiful woman. 
right? And I know that a lot of men are going to be on your case, despite the fact that you're married. I am not a child. I'm not oblivious to that. All I ask is that you don't hide stuff like that from me because it just makes you look suspicious. I know, I never. I regretted everything that happened when you left. I was asking myself so many questions. I mean, I could have told my husband, and I know you to be very understanding. I'm sorry, baby. So it never repeat itself again. Please. It's Apology accepted. So, what did you make? Your favorite. But before that, I was thinking you'd help me first. You know? Really? <laughs> you and your corny ways. Um, don't you like it? <laughs> don't okay. you like it? Okay, let me get okay. your bag. Hold your wife. <laughs> Are these all the orders of our online customers? Yes, ma. The orders of those who have made full payment for their hairs. What about those that made part payment? No, ma. I did not include the orders. But why? Isn't it better they pay everything at once? Listen, you're going to keep all the hairs in the salon until they pay completely. Am I understood? Okay, ma. And yes, you should also try to include the names of those who deposited some money, no matter how small they are. Okay, ma. Right? I have it. Okay. It is ma. Oh, I've added it. Okay. You've alright, just just drop it. Okay. A piece, ma. Um, um do you actually know how, you know, how someone can um re resist <laughs> don't worry, just go. Never mind. Okay, ma. Just go! Just, okay, just get busy with something. Okay, ma. Very busy day at work, so tired you just passed out and didn't even bother taking off your clothes.
Oh, babe, thank God you're finally up. Listen, I'm famished and there's nothing in the kitchen. Ah! Why are you telling me that you're hungry? You're famished and there's nothing in the kitchen. What do you want me to do? If you're hungry, go in there and fix something for yourself. Oh, babe, but... You're well rested now. I came in about an hour ago. And I've got lots and lots of unfinished work. Please. I don't understand. Am I your slave? No, tell me, am I your slave in this house? You are not a cripple. Get into that kitchen and fix something. Cook! Be useful to yourself! What's the problem? Why are you speaking at me, speaking to me in such a way? Mike, you're the one that is not okay. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you're the one. Babe! 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 Stop! 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 Stop!
<laughs> She's standing right here. <laughs> okay, ask me what I will do with See, your, your own, no. Ah, better do that your own rigs because she might step out now and ask you for the food. This particular food? Yes. So better no chopper more. No chopper. Just keep her for her. Mm. Because you're on your own. Mm -hmm. Listen to my advice, so. Please, please, Don't eat it, oh. Eh, I've told you. I know how these people they do. Mm. Babe, babe, you didn't touch your food. Honey, come on, why are you, why are you like this with me? I've been pleading with you since last night. You have refused to talk to me. I didn't mean to hurt you, babe. I'm sorry. Well, this is not the first time you're causing me bodily harm, is it? Oh, me. I'm I'm sorry. sorry. Just leave me alone, please. Listen, babes, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm really, really sorry. I mean, I, I can't explain what came over me. I, I, I wasn't in my right frame of mind. What do you mean you were not in the right frame of mind? You were not drunk, you were not tipsy. So what are you talking about? I had just woken up, honey. I was trying to boot, you know that. Look, Nengi, I do not have energy for this. I'm not in the mood, all right? All I want to do is just go in there, freshen up, and come and sleep. Look, it's been a long day. Babes, please. Okay, what about your food? You didn't touch it. Oh, come on, honey. Don't do this. I'm, I'm sorry. You know how it is with me each time you fight me this way. But I am not fighting you. But you are. You're not talking to me. You don't want to eat my food. You're obviously upset with me. I'm sorry, baby. Okay, listen. I apologize one more time. Nothing of sort will ever repeat itself again in this house. I mean, pardon me. Please. It's fine. Do you mean it? Yes, I, I'm not mad at you anymore, but look, you have to you have to put an end to all of this violent behavior. It's too toxic. Babe, I'm nothing like this. It was a mistake. Look, I know we've been married for almost a year. And I want to believe that I know you. I do. But sometimes your actions just leaves me with questions. What questions? Well, that maybe I didn't get to know you well enough before we got married. What are you trying to say? You, you regret us, don't you? You regret our marriage? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. That's not the point. I just meant that, I mean, Perhaps if I had taken time to get to know you better, I would know how to handle all of this. All right, but like I said, it's fine. Okay, I am not mad at you anymore. You can go and heat up the food and I'll eat it once I come out of the shower, okay? All right. I'll do just that, I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you, babes. You're welcome. All right. I'm ready. Really? <laughs> yeah, honey. So you mean you didn't take 10 hours to be ready this time? Why would I do that? You're, you're over-exaggerating. Well, let me take a look at you. <sighs> you look beautiful. Thank you, sweetheart. Your love makes me glow. I love you. I love you even more. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. You don't want to keep Pinus and his fiance waiting. Okay, that's okay. fine. Yeah. Um, babe, that yeah. reminds me. Um, I noticed that you changed your line. Yeah, I did. Wow. So you had to change your number because of all those random men that keeps disturbing you, refusing to understand that you're married. I mean, what man in their right mind would keep chasing a woman that has worn them off and blocks them? Men who do not give up. But don't stress yourself. It will not happen again. Nothing to worry about. Let's go. <laughs> right. So why did you make that choice of 
having a honeymoon in Maldives. Oh, cute. It has always been like my dreams. Like, hey guys. Hey, here they I are. Hope we do not keep you guys waiting for too long. Ah, no, it's fine. Come on. You guys are here, so let's have a good time. Um, babe, my friend here, Hilary, and his wife, Nengi. Hi. Nengi. Hi, Sandra. Hilary Sandra. Hi. Sorry, but I've been watching you since you walked in and you look quite familiar. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, my wife here runs a salon in town. That's probably where you know her from. Yeah, I think so. You know, the, the hairdressing salon is where you women meet new friends and uh, gossip partners. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the thing. She looked like the bride from a wedding I attended in Benue some time ago. Bride Benue? Okay, of yes. course not. You must be kidding. Well, that's <laughs> obviously it's not possible because I was not the groom at this mm. wedding, right? So we must have her mixed up with someone else. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. it, no, no, no. It's not me mistaking anything here. No, babe. Seriously. Do you, do you guys look alike because I went there with my friend and that was like two years ago and I'm telling you that I'm not the one <laughs> this is my husband I don't know what you're talking about mm. I mean oftentimes people you know tend to have the striking resemblance yeah, yes yeah. that's true the person I mean. you saw yeah. nothing to do with me mm. <laughs> absolutely it's yeah just so absurd uh, yeah. Well, babe, it turns out that you have a doppelganger yeah. somewhere in Benny States. <laughs> I'm fairly glad I I think I should. Okay. Okay. So you guys already yeah. started without us, which is fine. Do <laughs> <sighs> you know, I cannot believe that Benny already fixed a date for his wedding. <laughs> Whoever thought he would settle down. <laughs> but he's saying, honey, he is eventually going to get married. Now? He has a fiance, a lousy one of that. Wait, you think she's lousy? Don't you? <laughs> Women, so typical. They always find something to hate about each other from the first moment you meet each other, so I am not surprised. <sighs> Sweetheart. My love. Be wait, 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 wait. Not tonight, okay? Why? Because I'm tired and I'm surprised that you're not tired. Why would you be tired? Did you go to fam? We just had fun, baby. I know, but I just want to go to sleep. I'm not in the mood. I am in the mood. Don't worry, you don't necessarily need to stretch yourself, sweetheart. Just relax. And let me take care of you. You need some TLC. <laughs> I just want to take you to paradise as always. <laughs> Come here. Now. Oops! You think? My husband. Mm -hmm.
The door. The door? I mean, I, I didn't even know I locked it. <sighs> it, took, it took a while before you opened up. Yeah, mm. but I, I, I'm student, so I'm just trying to, I was trying to relieve myself before you, you knocked. Oh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I'll, I'll let you finish. I just wanted to urinate. Uh, I feel very uncomfortable. Okay, you want to use it? Okay, go yeah. ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, my love, go ahead. Go ahead. Sleep. Yeah. Alright, tomorrow we'll get you medicine for you. Alright. Right. Okay. Alright, honey. Come to bed, come to bed. Let me. I'm coming. Yes. I have to come to bed, okay? Yeah, baby. <coughs> <coughs> So sorry I kept you waiting. It's okay. What's doing this one? Are you okay? Nothing. I'm okay. Come on, Nengi. What's wrong? Did Kes contact you again? I can't even do that. I got a new line. So what's wrong? What's the problem? Did you get into another fight with your husband? Of course not. It's okay, let's just go, please. Come on, Nengi. We've been friends since our university days and I know you so well. So if there is anything bothering you, you have to say it. If everything is perfectly fine, it's just that I haven't really been myself lately. Why? Because Kes is out of prison? Come on, that guy will never bother you again. He's out of your life for good and he can't hurt you anymore. Says who? Come on, Gift, you don't even know what that guy can do. I know him too well. What if he suffices? He can do anything. When he's not a psycho, he has better things to do with his time than stalk you. <laughs> Besides, he signed the divorce papers winning. And who told you he has better things to do with his time? And for your information, he never wanted to sign those divorce papers. I insisted that he must sign. But he finally did. When he saw that you already made up your mind. Besides, you already signed a restraining order against him. I know, but he's a crazy motherfucker. He's just a crazy dude. He can do anything. That's my problem right now. <sighs> Tell me, what's the problem? Something like what? I mean, have I ever hidden anything from you? <sighs> Nengi, I think there's more to this. You know I don't keep things from you. What are you saying? 
I don't know, maybe something I have no idea about. Nothing, please. Let's go. Have you lost your mind? Are you okay? How could you have allowed her to leave without confirming if I got your alert? Oh, but that's because she actually showed me a receipt on her phone. Oh. She showed you a fake receipt and allowed her to leave without confirming from your mother. Are you not stupid? Look at it. Come, come, in, come. Look, look into this place. Are you seeing any alert? Are you seeing your alert? No, ma. Listen. You're going to pay. Of course. You're going to pay bit by bit with your salary. Jesus. Mm. Ma, ma, mm. ma. Shut up! Hey. Shut up! You're still talking! Take that for me. Bring it right here. Are you mad? I'm talking and you're still talking to me. Sorry, my kids! Now get out! Fool! Incompetent idiot! And you? Why are you still standing like a like a dundee? Go get busy! Animal. Hi. I didn't know you were coming today for your hair. Sorry about that. Hey! Why is she? Get her 18 inches bone straight hair right now. Okay. I'm sorry about that. These children are just so annoying. How are you? I'm fine. How is Penny? Well, he's doing great. I was on my way to his office. I just decided to stop by pick my hair. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. You're welcome. Where are you? Here it is, ma'am. You're wasting time. So sorry, ma'am. Hand it over. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll just have to pick my lady. Yeah. Hair. Oh. Ejiro. Ejiro. You were right, actually. I'm sorry. I mean, I would have checked well before getting mad at you earlier. No, no, I'm no, really no, ma. You don't need to be sorry. I'm, I'm the one that is sorry, ma. No. I got you so upset. I'm sorry. No, I should be the one to apologize. I had checked my phone and found out that the alert actually came. So, huh? I am sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay? <gasps> um, to make it up to you, I will have to increase your salary by 15%. Jesus! <sighs> It's not Thank you so much, ma. It's Thank okay. you. It's okay. Thank you so much. God will bless you, ma. Yes, God will replenish you, ma. Come in. The door is open. Hey, hey baby. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. I hope I'm not see. disturbing your work. Well, not at all. It's a much needed break, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's my lunch time already. Okay, nice. And what's this? You brought me lunch? Oh, no. You know, I stopped by at Nenge Salon to get that hair I told you about last week. Oh. Babe, guess what? What? I think she's a very hot tempered person. I don't understand. You have to see the way she was just stressed off at her stylist. She nearly broke the girl's head. Seriously? Yes. Like, I walked in on her shouting, yelling, throwing things at the girl. Like, I think she's a very violent person. Hmm. I don't think Nengi is hot tempered to the extent of violence. Yeah, I get it that Hillary usually mentions that she has an attitude problem, mm -hmm. but not to that extent. What I saw didn't seem like that. Like, the whole situation looked somehow, Jerry. Somehow. Hillary mm. would have mentioned it to me. What if she's, if she's having a bad mood? And you don't know what the other girl did. Do you? No, I don't. It's just, I think there are better ways to handle stuff like that with your staff. Not throwing things around and... Well, it's none of my business, though. <laughs> Mm, got you. Judge Sandra. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that you brought me lunch actually. And you brought your hair for me to eat, Abby. 
<laughs> Come on, baby. It's actually try. delicious. <laughs> yeah, baby, too, yeah, your own hair will be delicious to you. Yeah, not serious. Let's go have lunch. I'm famished by the Three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think it should be downstairs. Yep. Yeah. Mm. My baby. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Babe. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we see a movie instead? This program is boring. See how you're bullying me. You're making me change the channel. I'm actually enjoying this. But don't worry. When we have kids, they're going to do the same thing to you. They're not going to let you watch anything other than just cartoons. <laughs> kids. Yes, my baby. Look, but you know, I actually cannot wait for us to start having kids. I feel like I will be the happiest man on earth when our first child is born. Just holding him in my arms, like just looking at this cute Are face. you serious? Yes. Like you're ready to start having kids now? Well, absolutely. Of course, I'm ready to be a father. Are you not ready to be a mom? No. Why? Babe, I just feel I'm not mentally ready for that now. I'm not mentally ready to be a parent. I mean, parenting requires a lot and I'm not ready for it. Oh, yes, you're right. But I mean, we, we learn on the job, right? It's, I'm wearing this together. If you're not ready to have kids now, when do you think you'll be ready? Mm. Maybe in two years. Two years? Yeah. Which you want us to live together in this huge house for two years without kids? I mean, what is marriage without kids? Wait, come on, just tell me you're pulling my legs. I'm not pulling your legs. We just got married. I mean... It's been two years. Babe, <sighs> come on. I just feel I'm not ready. That's not just ready yet. That's Wait, what. I'm still yet to hear an actual reason you feel like you're not mentally ready to have kids. See? No reason. Look, babe, you don't have anything to worry about, okay? We'll have kids when they come and we will be great parents. I know you're going to be a great mom. I know that for sure with no doubt. <laughs> don't worry about anything. So. What do you want to watch now that you've succeeded in making me change the channel? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday, <laughs> my better half. Happy birth. Day to you. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, babe, you got me a cake. Oh, come on, honey. What is birthday celebration without a cake? And not just that I have something very special for you. First of all, make a wish. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> all right. Uh, I got you a special one. Come on, babe. You love it? Of course I do. This must have cost a fortune. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It is nothing equivalent to what you mean to me. You're worth more, my love. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me. I can do anything for you. And yes, better call your friends because we are partying tonight. We are? Yes, we are. That's and baby, I want to give you okay. a special gift. It's my I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me! 
And let me treat you to get what is your love? Don't touch me. Really? What is your what is your problem? I don't know. I don't know. What have I done? I'm sorry. Thank you. Just thank you for ruining my birthday. Babes, I'm sorry. Nengi, what? What have you done? Baby! 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 Oh, thank God you're here. Thank God you're here, my sister. I don't even know what is going on with me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. He's gone out. I've been calling him. He hasn't been picking my calls. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think I'm losing my mind. Please help me. I'm losing it. Ray, just calm down. What exactly happened? We're playing, you know, and he was on top of me. And then suddenly, I, I, felt I, I can't even explain what happened. But it was a thief, Kess, was on top of me trying to rape me. So I just, I punched him. Again? again? Nengi, you hit your husband again! Again, again, but huh. it, was, it was, trust me, it wasn't intentional. I mean, everything happened so fast. I was trying to calculate. I didn't even know what happened. The whole thing overwhelmed me, took over me. I wasn't, I wasn't seeing Hillary. I was seeing a totally different person. And before I knew it, a lot happened. And he's so angry with me. Have you seen what bastard has told me to have you seen what Kes has turned me into? It's okay, it's okay, just calm down. But but I am so surprised that your marriage with Kes still has effect on you up till now. It still does. I mean, not like I have any feelings for him, but what he put me into. You know, I can't intentionally hurt Hillary. I love him, so I love him with my life. I can't hurt my man. I can't. Now he's gone. He's gone. Oh God, I'm losing it. <sighs> Nengi, I want to ask you something, but please do not get offended by it. Are you sure you stopped taking those stuff? What? Nengi, just tell me the truth because I cannot wrap my head around anything right now. I don't even know what to do. A lot has gone wrong, but trust me, it has never been my fault because I'm human. And you know this thing, sometimes it takes over you. The truth is, I actually went back to it, but we just... Oh my goodness, Nengi! A little portion. Do you want to destroy your marriage? I asked you to see a therapist or a psychiatrist. But I don't need any of these people you just mentioned. I am not an addict. That's the problem. You never admit. Listen. Addicts are violent. They're they're unkept. They look dirty. I am. I don't look. I'm, I'm, do I look like an addict? I am not an addict. I mean, I tell you, you stop denying it. You can't even help yourself. I mean, if you love this man, you have to do something as soon as possible. At least for him, your mental health is messed up. It is messed up. You are not far from the truth. But you know, the thing is that I keep feeling that each time I'm close to him, I just keep feeling that, um, you know, he wants to take me back to the same place I was. I mean, you know, Kes tortured me. You know that. So I keep feeling that Hillary wants to take me back there. That's, that's the mental state. And it's not helping me. It's not. Nengi, Kes isn't coming back. Come on, that guy has moved on with his life. I know. I know, but how sure? I'm just afraid, baby girl. I'm afraid. I'm confused. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. Look, Hillary will come back. He will. And, well, what I know for sure is that a lot of women are out there praying for a man like your husband. And if you're not careful, you will lose him forever. No! Why would you even say that? Give, do you want to kill me? I mean, do you want me to die? If you take Hillary away from me, I would die. I mean, you know, I love him so much and I do not want anything to happen to our marriage. Now listen, my girlfriend, you love me, right? You want to be here for me, right? This is the time you have to come in. Stand with me, save me from this. This is not good for me. If it's, if it's a therapist that would 
Save me from this situation of mine. Please get one for me. I need to come out of this. I need to, I need to let loose. I need to be free. I mean, I don't need this personality. I need to go back to who I've always been. You know me, girl. You know me, right? Yeah, I do. It's okay. You just calm down. Hillary will come back, okay? Mm. You won't lose him. Thank you. And you're just so lucky he hasn't found out about all this. No, he hasn't. Do you yeah. still have that stuff in this house? Mm. I do. We have to dispose them. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking, you know. You're not thinking anything. Take me to your room. I want all of it. Mm -hmm. All of it. All. Don't even try to lie to me. Yeah, it's finished. Come on, Nengi. I'm not lying to you, Gifts. This is the last. That's the, the biggest one I have. myself up. I'm sorry, like, that's it. Everything. Are you sure? All my life. All my life. Is everything. Hey, don't. Oh. Oh. What have I got to myself? You'll be just fine without them. I'll help you search for a therapist. But before then, there's this group chat I would like you to join with people who have similar challenge like you. Oh. I'll ask my cousin to send me the Thank link. you so much, my sweet friend. You have indeed shown me that you're truly my friend. I mean, I wonder what I would have done without your help. Thank you, I'm grateful. It's okay, it's fine. Do you know what? You don't have to stress yourself anymore. Don't overthink it. Hillary will be back soon. And you're so lucky to have married somebody like Hillary. Mm. If it was other men, they would have beaten the living daylight out of you. You don't even need to tell me, my darling. I've been there. I know what Kess did to me. I don't even want to talk about that. Girl, I need my husband back. He's truly a good man. He doesn't deserve all of this. Of course, he doesn't deserve it. Don't worry, he'll be back. And I doubt if we're having that birthday party. No, I've ruined everything. Of course, you ruined everything. Come here. It's okay. You'll be fine. Okay. It's okay. Honey. Honey. Honey, please. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. Honey, what are you doing? Please, honey, don't leave me. You don't have to do this, okay? I am deeply sorry. Please forgive me. Me, I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Listen, at this I point, you're again. beginning to turn into a bag of sorries, all right? And I am tired of it. Whatever it is that is going on with you, I have had it, all right? No, 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 honey. Honey, you know that today is supposed to be your birthday. It's your birthday today. It's supposed to be my birthday, and guess who ruined it? You ruined it, of all people. You ruined my birthday. Sorry, I need to, I'm supposed to be celebrating this birthday with you. I'm sorry, Nengi. Oh, oh, honey, okay. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, honey, I, I won't do it again. I will never do it. Maybe, maybe I was scared or something. I was scared afraid. Scared of what? What were you afraid of? 
What exactly were you afraid of? Many times I've asked you, what is the reason for all these sudden outbursts? You never give me any concrete answer, right? I've asked you, if there's anything that I need to know, you never say anything. If I didn't know you know any better, I'll probably feel like maybe you're, you're, you're on drugs or something. No, drugs. Babes, I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, don't do this. Don't leave me. Honey, I'll die. Please don't leave me. Babes, sugar, honey, my love. Oh, my love, please don't go off, come on, please. Please don't go, I'm sorry. Nengi, take a look at my eye, Nengi. You did this to me. Yes. You did this to me, one injury after the other, every single time, and it always ends with you saying that you're sorry. Honey, every time. Honey, it wasn't intentional. You, you already called me back of sorry. I don't even know what to say anymore, but please, I am deeply sorry. No, you're not. You're not sorry, because sorry means it won't happen again, but it keeps repeating itself. Look, I, I, I didn't know you to be like this before I married you. Honey, Maybe I made a mistake. No, how can you say that like that? You didn't make a mistake marrying me. I'm sorry. Honey, honey. Yeah. Hey, babe. Baby, stop. Stop. Stop, baby. Oh. Oh, baby, he's left. He just left me, baby. Baby. Birthday boy. I thought you were supposed to hang out today for your birthday. What happened? Uh, yes, I uh, I just wanted to be home, Jerry. What's up with you and the dark shades? Since when did you start wearing dark shades to work? Look, Peniel, I am not in the mood for your banter this morning, please. You are not always in the mood every morning. What's going on with you? Nothing is going on, alright? I just, just want to be left alone. Thank you. 
I thought it was Hillary. Welcome. I sit down. Sorry. I, I thought it was Hillary, my, my, my husband. Here. Yeah. You're welcome. You called crime proof usually last night. I did? Yes, you did. Are you okay? Uh, no, I mean, how can I be okay? I'm not. I, I, my, my husband, he left. He left me last night. He, he went to the hotel and he didn't come back. I slept here all by myself. No. Are you saying he moved out? Mm, not, not exactly. Uh, he, he, he picked a few of his things and he said he was going to the hotel. But I, I, I'm sure he didn't go to the hotel. Probably he just, you know, he left me. Then he didn't leave you. Maybe he just needed some time to himself. You're putting him through a lot. Uh -huh. And if you ask me, I'll say he needs the break. Are you saying he should leave me? Of course not. I am just saying it's the right thing to do. Look at you. You don't even look yourself. No, I'm fine. I'm just, you know, tired. I, I've, had a, I've had a lot lately. I'll be fine. Okay? Wait a minute. Huh? What is this? What is what? What? Jesus Christ. Nengi, are you taking it again? I thought I flushed it. Uh, Don't tell me you went to get another one. No. I promise. I, I... Do not dare to lie to me. Don't even try it. I couldn't sleep last night when my husband left me. Oh, I tried so much, but I could not sleep. So I just had to take a little to, to be able to ease off. But it, it wasn't so much. I reduced it, I promise. This time it wasn't more, just a little. Just to, it was too much on my body. It was too much. I just had to help myself. Why, why are you staring at me like that? You know what? Just go get dressed. We're going to see a therapist right away. You're turning into everything Cass is. You need rehabilitation, and I am telling Hillary everything about your condition. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, sorry. I mean, you can't do that to me. Hillary's my husband and not yours. I should be the one to tell my husband, not you, okay? Um, you want me to get dressed? I'll, I'll do that now. Come here. I knew there was something wrong when you had dark shades on this morning. What happened to you? Did you get into a fight or something? No. So what happened to your eye? Look, I just... You hit your head on the wall again, I guess. Not even try lying to me again. It's actually not that serious, right? It was a mistake. Red eye. Swollen eye? Not that serious man. You didn't get the person arrested or what? Wait, you said this is a mistake? Fine. <clears throat> it was, um, it was Nengi. But like I said, it was a mistake. Nengi did this to you. How come? We, we got into an argument and um, her, her elbow hit my eye by mistake. This obviously isn't a mistake, Hillary. You got punched in the eye. Except there's something you're not telling me here. Nengi hit you in the eye. Look, it was not intentional, okay? Wait. The bruises, the injuries you've been coming to work with. Nengi has been hitting you all along. What are you talking about? How can my own wife be hitting me? I said it before and I'm saying it again. It was a mistake, okay? That's all. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You sit there and you defend your wife for hitting you on the face and you're telling me it's a mistake. It's not that serious, man. Go get a mirror and look at yourself.
So you heard everything the therapist said. There has to be a willingness, even though it has been paid for. Are you willing to change? Of course I am, my darling. I can't wait to go back to the woman I was before Kes married me. I honestly can't wait. Then you have to take this seriously. Do not miss your sessions for any reason. I will always be there, but please do something for me. Bring back my husband. Beg him to come home. I miss him so much. Look, Nengi, I just feel you should just let him be. Give him that time. No, I can't. I love him. I mean, I miss him so much. He's like the air I breathe, babes. He'll definitely come around, but if that's what you that's want. That's what then. I want. Okay, fine. I'll try. I'll talk to him. Please. And I also want to use this medium to thank and appreciate you for being a true friend. You've been by my side through the trying times. Thank you so much. Come here. That's what friends are for. And I will be fulfilled if you become the woman that I used to know. I will. Okay. Thank you. Oh. And just, I was going to talk to you about this. Time. You know, you're a very wise. <laughs> but you know, I love blondie. I think I prefer it. I knew that woman was a very violent person from what I saw the other day at her salon. You mean she's been hitting him all this while? Hmm. Like, how does a woman even punch her husband in the eye? He even defended her. And he kept making excuses for her. It was really annoying, I swear. Hey, your friend needs saving. Because clearly he can't save himself anymore. He does, to be honest. And he's the man. You see, I mean, Larry is a calm person and they would not hit a woman. So I figured out that maybe Nengi discovered that that was a weakness for him and she kept taking advantage of his calm nature. Baby. Because I can't explain it. <laughs> Babe, I'm not even saying he should hit her back. Okay, here is the thing. If we were to be a woman in this situation, okay. we would ask her to leave the marriage. Mm -hmm. In this case, he's the man. He makes it easy. He doesn't have to endure all this. <laughs> Baby, tell him to leave. <laughs> that one that defended her, like uh, no tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I doubt he would even listen to me. Hilary loves his wife like his life is dependent on it. Oh wow. Uh, yes. <laughs> mm. I just hope that same woman will not end his life. The worst part is that, come to think of it, Nengi doesn't look like someone that could even hurt a fly. And yet she looks so innocent. You don't know the ones with the innocent look are the most dangerous of them all. Don't judge them like that. Really? Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, any woman that tries that with me, even as close as raising her hands up to slap me. Ah, but well, how did they go back to my mouth? So. <laughs> 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 That's if I didn't break part of it. I hope you don't hey, even try. Hey, don't plan doing that. Oh, come on. Ah. I mean, I can't even get angry to the extent of hitting anybody. It's because mm. of my husband. Mm? Mm, let's look out for the red flag, go. Come on, I wasn't brought up that way. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> You don't beat me now. <laughs> I can't beat you, that's my swan. Shady, why me? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. Uh, thank you for agreeing to meet with me. So, how is it? Your eyes? Oh, well, I'm, I'm on pain meds and I'm also using eye drops. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about your eyes. Yeah. Do you want anything to drink? <laughs> no. Uh, Nengi told me everything. Everything? Like how she gets angry and starts to hit me all the time? Look, I don't know what's, what's going on with her. Has she always been this way? Because I feel like I, I don't even recognize the woman that I married. 
Sincerely, Nengi was never like this. I think maybe you should study her more to know if there is anything wrong with her. But what do you think is wrong? Um, I don't know, but I feel there is something must be responsible for this behavior. Um, there is always a cause before an effect. Do you think that maybe she had a, a terrible childhood or something? I guess that's one of the disadvantages of long distance relationship because maybe if we had spent more time together before getting married, I would have known about these things. Sincerely, she was never like this until... Until what? Um, until she told me. Yes, until she told me. The Nengi I know or knew couldn't even hurt a fly. Well, you clearly don't even know your friend because she gets angry at the most trivial things. And when she does, she becomes aggressive. She's kicking, she's punching, she's throwing things at me. Anything she can get her hands on, she just becomes unrecognizable. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to go through all this. You don't deserve it at all. But I am so sure she regrets it. And she'll definitely work on herself. But please, do not leave her. If you leave her, she's going to be a disaster. Leave her? I'm not leaving her. I just needed space to clear my head and think. Thank you. What are you doing here? I told the gifts not to tell you where I was staying. She didn't tell me. So how did you find out? I followed you from the office. Oh. Babe, honey, listen, all I need is audience. Grant me a little audience. I really want to talk to you. Please, my love, we need to talk. I know, I know that I really hurt you. Ever since we got married, I've cost you nothing but pain, even though all you have ever done is to show me love and care. I'm not happy about it, babes. I feel so pained inside of me as well. I mean, it breaks me. It really breaks me to, to watch the wound I've, I've inflicted on you. You're a good man. You don't deserve this. I mean, I feel like a monster, babes. I'm not happy, baby. I'm so, so sorry. I mean, I know you'll be wondering why I keep doing this and always apologizing. I know I have hurt you a thousand times. And uh, I've always apologized. I've been saying I'm sorry. I know it might sound like a broken record to you, like... She does this all the time and then she comes and apologizes and then she does it again. Baby, please. I am deeply sorry. From the depth of my heart, I am sorry. I will not do this again. I can't even explain what came over me, but whatever it is, I have to kill it today. In fact, I've already killed it before coming here. I will never, ever be violent towards you again. Please, honey, let's go home, please. Nengi, marriage is supposed to be peaceful. You are supposed to be my peace. I know. I'm sorry. But what, what I want to know is the reason. Why is it that one second you're the best wife anyone could ever wish for, and then the next second you, you flip and become something, something completely different? Is there some sort of like a, a history of mental illness in your family? I'm sorry, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean for it to come out that way, but what do you expect? Like, you do some really weird stuff, and I have to be honest with you, right now, I'm actually scared of you. It will never happen again. I'm 
so. It's fine, I've heard you and I will come home, but I need you to hear me right now. If this repeats itself, I am going to leave for good and I am not coming back. I need you to understand that. No, babe, don't say it again. It will not happen. Since you left, I've not been myself. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Hey, bro. Are you going to lunch without me? Guy, I just free me. They mess up. What did I do? I thought we were friends. So how can you hide such thing from me? Come on, dude. What did you expect? How was I supposed to tell you that my own wife was hitting me? How does that even sound to your ears? Also, now you agree that she's hitting you. Look, every relationship or marriage has issues, has misunderstandings. Especially in the first year, I think that's what we're going through. That's all. That injury in your eye is more than just a misunderstanding. It could have been worse. Say, so listen, um, Hilary, you don't have to be ashamed to admit the fact that your wife has been abusing you. She's not abusing me, okay? She just has her, her, her temper issues and sometimes she gets momentarily aggressive. That's all. What's a dangerous thing? Look, I, I know, I, and she's changing. She is. She, she was not this way before we got married. Are you aware you're in a toxic marriage? And I will advise you to walk away. Sorry, what exactly are you saying? Are you advising me to divorce my wife? That's the best thing to do. I can't believe you just said that. Like, are, are, you, are you being serious? Look, I, I know that Nengi has her issues, all right? But she's changing. That's, that's, what, that's what matters. She's realizing herself and she's changing for the better. I'm not just going to walk away because of that. Marriage is supposed to be for better or for worse. And if this is our worst, I'm going to have to stay and work it out. Can't just walk away.
What's the result, babe? It's fine. I'll try again. Okay? <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? It's positive! I'm pregnant! You're pregnant? Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're pregnant. We're having a baby. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't believe this. Finally! Finally! I don't believe this. So we're having a baby. More baby! That's when you decided to stop by at my office today. I hope I'm safe. Well, you know I won't be back from work until evening. So I figured I could see you before I go to the office. And no, you are not safe. Tell me, what is going on? What are you talking about? The therapist says you've been missing your sessions. She said <laughs> she has been calling you and you told her you've been busy. Mm. She's actually speaking the truth. Girl, I've been busy. My salon has been busy and my customers need me. I need to be here for them. Besides, I'm fine now. Okay, I haven't really taken it for weeks. And... And I've been at peace with my husband, so everything is fine. But that doesn't mean you have to stop your sessions. See how it has been helping you so far. Oh. You need to find time and go for this thing. My lecturer, I've heard you. I'll try, okay? Okay, you know, I told you something, right? I said that I was going to tell you something when you come. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tell me. <laughs> We're having a baby. Oh my god! Are you for real? Oh my god! Oh my goodness, I'm yes. so happy for you, my Thank friend. You. Wow! I am going to be a godmother soon. Soon to be godmother. <laughs> my gifts, please. I owe you ten. You, oh, you owe me. <laughs> godmother loading. Yeah. Oh. Godmother loading. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a long time since I last came here to have lunch. <clears throat> and I must confess, there's nothing as good as homemade meal. Mm. Of course. Look, when eventually you get married like me, you're going to save a lot of money, the money you waste on junk food and stuff. Can I say that again? Babe, mm. you're not going to get that? No, it's one of my troublesome customers in the salon. I'll call her later. Okay. Okay. How far now? How are preparations for the wedding? Very well, bro. Uh, can you not tell me soon as well this thing they take you? Man, preparing for a marriage is not very easy at all. Be running here and there. <laughs> Trust me. And I must tell you, it's been so hectic. Trust me, I can relate. Or rather, we can relate. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about that. Yeah. How is Sandra? It's been a long time she stopped by at the salon. Uh, um, Hope she's fine though. Maybe you should um, talk to her when you guys get to meet. Okay. I don't really know. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Babe. Mm -hmm. um, please could you get me some salt just a little bit? So you know how I like my food extra salty. You don't need to plead, honey. Do it. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right. My baby's been avoiding going to your wife's salon. I don't understand why. She said she doesn't want to go considering how violent your wife is. Come on, you told her. Come on, man, no. She knows. In fact, she ran into your wife's harsh treatment of one of her staff the other day. And I think that was the last time she stepped her foot there. Listen, she has changed, okay? Okay. Crystal clear. At least, I can't see any black eye or swollen head. That's not even funny, <laughs> first of all. But I told you she was going to change, and she has, okay? Can't believe you were even advising me to divorce her. I hope she doesn't beat you again. Dude, that, you will choke <laughs> for that food, though. <laughs> Thank you. Is it not start again? Hope she didn't hear us. Um, 
No, I, I don't think she did. It's probably pregnancy hormones. Okay. You guys seen all this? Yes, my boy, we're almost done. What are you doing there? Hey, Jiro. And you. Ma? Peace. You ought to have finished with this hair. Why are you wasting time? The customer is coming tomorrow. I do not want issues. Okay, ma. Be fast. Excuse me, ma. There, there's um. What? As well? <gasps> oh, my baby's still intact. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Hope it's not in serious. Hmm. She has really been nice to us these days. I just hope it's nothing serious. <laughs> I pray to mm her. -hmm. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? <laughs> hey, what happened? What's wrong? Hey, talk to me. What's wrong? Why did you go to the hospital? <laughs> I lost the baby. I lost the baby. <laughs> it's okay. I don't even know. I can't even explain how it happened. It just happened like that. Why now? I mean, why would I lose my child now? Why now? Why now? It doesn't matter. I didn't do any strenuous thing. Why? <laughs> I can't take this. I want my baby back. I want my baby back. I want my baby back. I don't know what to do.
babe, your phone is ringing. Babe? Babe, your phone is ringing. this therapist
Good afternoon, Bay. You're here. Um. Good afternoon. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Where are you coming from? Oh. I was, I was devastated. You know, I remembered how I lost our baby. So, I felt so bad. I felt like going outside to, you know, take fresh air. That's, that's where I'm coming from. You bloody liar. So, this is who you are. A drug addict. Jesus Christ, how, how did I not see this? How did I not know? A drug addict? No! What are you saying, Bates? I don't know what you're talking about. I saw the group that you were added to. Even your therapist tried calling you. Tell me, how long exactly has this been going on? Uh, babes, I, I don't know what you're talking about, honestly. The group you, you, you just mentioned is just, it's just for fun. I just, just stop lying to I me, Nancy. Like, stop lying fun. to me. I saw your own messages. I saw what you wrote. How you feel like you're going to explode. You cannot do without it. You can't force your... For Christ's sake, Nengi! We're saying the same thing. Everything was just for fun. I mean, everybody was just saying a few words. I just had to put my... Just to feel a monk. What Nothing. What? What's that you have in your hand? I know what you're talking about. Let me have it. What? What have what? Nengi, do not test me. Let me have that. It, it, it has nothing to do with you. Stop that! Stop! Get, 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 give it back to me! Give it back! Hey. What is this? Don't get you there! Walk out of me! What is I've done to you. Look, look what I've done to my baby, my happiness, my joy. The very crown that makes me so proud. Baby, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve a damaged woman like me. I mean, perhaps you, if you hadn't met me, you would still be alive. And stronger. I promise if you if you get up from this, I will stay far away from you. I will stay far away. In as much as I know that my heart will bleed of your absence. But I'll be much glad knowing full well that you're fine wherever you are, not to be like this. It hurts me so bad. Because this is not the woman I am. Marriage. Marriage turned me to this. My ex-husband made me the person I am today. He turned me to this person I am today. And I know he's going to hurt you so much. When you eventually find out that I was married and I kept it from you. For oh, baby, I was I was in so much pain. I didn't know he was a drug addict. Until we got married. I didn't know. And when I found out, I was so mad. I, did, I wasn't in support of what he was doing. Then he would always force me to take it. 
Each time I refused, he would he would beat me up. He would he would do everything to me until I lose consciousness. And then I can't even run away. I can't go anywhere he, because he would keep me in the house and lock me up. I, I was completely helpless. Completely helpless. <laughs> My marriage to death was one of the worst things that ever happened to me. I was, I was abused so much. I was abused sexually, physically, mentally, emotionally and otherwise. I only gained my freedom when he had landed himself into jail for the crime he committed. I wish he never came out. I wish he had died in there. But when I found you, I found happiness. I found peace of mind. My joy was complete. You made me a complete woman. You came into my life and, and brightened the dark party left in me. You. Oh my God. My love, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I never mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, I was just a victim, a victim of circumstance. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Madam, please, we need to clean him up now. You have to excuse us. Okay, okay ma. I'll be outside. Sure. I sincerely wish I was the one lying down there battling with my life. He doesn't deserve this. Not him. Not him at all. She never listened to me when I warned you. At least this would have been avoided if not that you stopped your therapy. I should have listened to you. I don't know what came over me. I didn't even have control over what I was doing anymore. I don't know. <sighs> Let's just hope he survives this. Oh. <sighs> I just, I just hope nothing happens to him. Because I, I cannot, I will not be able to forgive myself if anything should happen to him. I will just die. Ah. Uh, I just, I, I won't, I can't be it. I can't just be it. God help me. God save me from this lifestyle. It's not good for me. It's not good for me. Okay. I want out. I want out totally. It's, it's okay. not good for me. You need to visit the rehab. When it comes out of this, you have to seek rehabilitation immediately. I'm sure. I'm very sure when, when he wakes up, it's going to hate me so much. It's going to so hate me. But I won't blame him. Because I deserve every bit of the hatred he, he puts on me. I don't understand this. I don't know. When I do all these things, I don't even know when I do them. I just get to realize when it's so late. When it's so late, a man that loves me so much. <sighs> Let's just thank God he didn't sustain any internal injury. And let us pray and hope he comes out of coma soon. Oh. 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 Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Mm. 
Good afternoon. So you keep your damn greetings to yourself, you heartless being. It's been two good weeks of my friend in coma. And I hope you're happy about it. I hope you're excited about it. So you can go ahead and throw yourself a party for making him lie there in such terrible condition, lying in the half dead. What did my friend ever do to you to deserve such treatment from you? The only crime he committed was to show you love unconditionally. That he would come to the office telling all sorts of lies, covering your, 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 your stupid behavior. With bruises everywhere, black eye, swollen head. Babe, this is not even worth it. Let's just go. Babe, allow me to give this, this, this little bit, a, a piece of my mind. I wish my friend had listened to me and divorced your silly ass. We wouldn't have been having this conversation here. We would have been so peaceful with his life, healthy. You go on your knees and pray to your God and nothing happens to him. And I swear on everything left to me, if anything happens to my friend Hillary, I will make sure you pay severely. I will make sure I get you arrested and, and you pay daily for everything you put him through. Unfortunately, being. Please, my love, can you please wake up? Can you open your eyes? Can you be strong one more time for me? And can you just be fine for me? Can you be strong one more time and save me from this, this unending pain and torture? Can you please? <sighs> I'm sorry. Even God Almighty in heaven knows how sorry I am. I'm sorry and I regret everything. I deeply regret everything, honey. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Everything looks perfect, but we still have to keep an eye on him for some couple of days before he's been discharged. All right, okay. Thank you so much for everything. Very well then. I would like to see you in my office later. All right, so I'll, I'll be there. Be good, okay? to divorce. <gasps> easy, be easy. Yeah, shut the door. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, I will just get my stuff from upstairs. Are you sure you don't want me to help you with anything? No, don't worry. I'll be fine. I've got this. Okay, in case of anything, I'll wait. Easy, man. <sighs> hmm. 
You came? Yes, I just uh, came to get my stuff. Look, I'm sure that um, by now the divorce papers must have gotten to you. Please just do me a favor and sign them, okay? I'm sorry, you can't do this. I'm already getting help. I am sorry. I never intended for all of this to happen. I'm really working towards it. I'm getting help soon. Don't make this harder than it already is. Just sign the papers, okay? I'll sign it. I'll sign it, but we need to talk. I know that I do not deserve to ask anything of you now. But I know that you deserve to know everything. At least can I have a few minutes of your time? Please sit. I'd rather stand. Babe. Babe, I'm so sorry that it took me long to tell you this. Please do not blame me entirely. I was just afraid. I was scared of losing you. That was why I kept it to myself. Not for anything. I was once married. I know. You, you knew? Since when? I heard everything you said at the hospital. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. It doesn't change anything. It does not. My, my only regret is that I really did believe that we had something beautiful, that we had a future together. Listen, when you don't think like this, okay? I mean, I I only felt exposing everything to you would make you love me less. That was why I kept it to myself. Sorry, please. And this was also the reason I destroyed my phone that morning. That morning? Wait, so the person who was calling you that morning was your ex-husband? Yeah, he, he, he had just returned from jail. So I am, I am married to the ex-wife of an ex-convict. No, it's not like that, honey. I can explain everything to you. How clueless of me. How how stupid of me. Do you know, I never thought that you had it in you to do this to me. No, it's not the way you see it. I'm not like that. Please, baby, don't leave me. I've gotten help already. Please, I'm sorry. Please, please. Please, this will be the last, please, I beg you, please, please. Look, I know that I should feel sorry for you, but everything you had to go through when you were with him, and I do. But maybe I would have felt sorrier if you had told me all about this before we got married. I was scared. I'm sorry, please, I was scared. Just, don't, don't make this hard. Just sign the papers. All right. I'm gonna get out of here, just give you some time to put yourself together and find a place to live.
Hey, bro, you took so long. <laughs> Babe, please, one more chance. I beg you, please. Um, I'm already seeing a therapist, and she says that I will improve. Peniel, please help me talk to your friend. Just one more chance. I beg you, please. Beg you. You know I am the wrong person to ask for this. Look, Nengi, this is the best thing for him. You could have died from that fall. So you just focus on improving yourself and forget about him. Dude, please, please talk to him. No, I'll help you that. Come in. Good afternoon. Afternoon. I brought the divorce papers. Thanks. And Hale, I want to also use this medium to apologize to you. I know I hurt you so much. So I want you to please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am sincerely sorry for everything I put you through. I'm sorry. It's all right. How have you been? <clears throat> I've been okay. I'm leaving for rehab today. Oh. I'm going to be there for six months or more, depending on the recovery. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. I know that this might sound awkward to you, but to me it means a lot. Because I know I don't, I don't even know when to see you again. Please, can I get a hug? Of course. Do I? Do I still stand a chance with you? Even I'm out of rehab. Creepy. 
myself.